Let's enter into our motivate quickly. Amen. One, don't never look down on anybody. Amen. Don't look down on anybody. There's this boatman, boatman, uh, uh, a crew and a canoe, boats, canoe, who is at the sea praying that the passenger should come. So one passenger came. And that passenger was a scholar. When I say scholar, very much educated. Very much educated. When he entered the boat, when he entered the boat, then he was happy seeing the bears around all of them. So he asked the boatman, did you go to school? The boatman said no. He said, oh, I'm sorry. Part of your life is missing. They were moving. And he asked the boatman again, do you see these stars? Do you know what is? He said, no. He said, the star belongs to the astrological system. The boatman said, no, I don't know. He said, no, you, your 50% of your life is off. He saw the beauty of plant. He said, do you know this plant? He said, no. Ah, plant belong to bot botany. He said, I don't know. He said, ah, 75% of your life is missing. So you only have 25%. So they were going. Before they realized, water was coming. So he looked down upon the boatman. Watch this. Water was, the, the boat break in the middle and water was coming. And they were sinking. So the scholar said, what is that? So the boatman said, you don't know? He said, no. You didn't swim, you, don't you know swimming? He said, no. Then the whole life, you are finished. <laughs> He told the boatman that seven five of his life is off. Now what happened now? The scholar life, all his life. He said, me wo, me wo, boat ni your ship. And the boatman came off. Then he said, no, don't look down upon anybody. Whether educated or not educated, whether learning or not, don't look down upon. Because the table can turn anytime. For sure, for sure, 100%. Manu, life is full of surprises. That is what they say. No condition is permanent. You can only sustain forever or long time when you know the understanding of nature. So make sure that nobody comes your way and you look down upon that person. Manu. But that is human nature. That is what we do every day. We look down upon people. I'm educated. You're not educated. I say, say, no. That shouldn't be. You don't know tomorrow. You don't know the destiny of that person. Are you following? Because me, I am an example. I am example. My brothers are surprised. My families are surprised. Everybody are surprised. Yeah, I know. I don't look down on people. I don't look down on people. If I'm a proud person, I will not even accept to go and stay in my in-laws' house. If I'm a proud person. Because I will say I'm educated. I'm, I'm like this. No, I cannot. It's killing a lot of people. But it is the same house I stayed. Before God said no. The land, it is not brata. The land I'm giving you, it is median. Some, some call them are here. Man. But you see. Anytime you have something good inside you, eh, God needs to push you into certain temptation to stir out the good thing inside you to come out. Amen. So when you're going through some trouble, no, it is rather preparing you to come out in a grand star. Amen. Hey. Some of you don't look down on people from today 
know how to talk. I say what? Know how to talk. Know how to talk. Amen. There is a man who has come your way. Or a lady who has come your way. He said, No, you've done this. And you say, Okay. If you say, You're saying that it's a lie. Our destinies are in our hand. We prepare it ourselves. So tomorrow what you become is what we are doing here today. What you become in future is what we are doing here today. As we are here, somebody is in the church. They are doing concert. Two years later, you will be prosperous and he will come and meet you. You have shaped your destiny. He has not shaped his own. Amen. Years back when I was going preaching, 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 they didn't write it on my forehead. People say, oh, say preaching here. For four years, master. Nobody believed. But I have prepared it now. Are you getting me? It's very important. So never look down upon anybody on this world. Amen. <laughs> Be under umbrella that will protect you. Number two, never chastise, criticize, castigate, or condemn any man of God. You are not to judge any man of God. You are not to judge. Whether wrong or good, you are not to judge. I don't know if you are getting it. Moses fall into temptation. Munim, and I will be kind. Nyami di bufwa baniso. Who drank in the Bible? Noah drank in the Bible. His own children saw the nakedness and one was laughing. Somebody who drank there, the Holy Spirit will never has run away from it. According to our normal knowledge. Because you've seen, you've seen against the Holy Spirit. But in the midst of drunkenness, still because the anointing is upon him, what he said worked in the life of the guy. So no matter what the person may be, the anointing is still upon him. Whether nakedness, poor or rich, the anointing is still in him. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you're getting me. There is this prophet, um, uh, Eli Elisha, who has gone to pray. Elisha is an old man. He has a bear this so the children who doesn't know anything were laughing at him. So the Holy Spirit must not listen to that prophet because he knows that these children don't know anything. But that person spoke. An animal came from the bush, consumed all the children. Listen, ignorance, ignorance can kill you. God will not bet you for your ignorance. Say mini mini no. So let's make sure we respect anybody at all. Amen. Amen.